Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail call time and I have a package all the way from Taiwan from a man named Tom Lennett. Maybe I'm supposed to pronounce it Lennett. I don't know. Tom Lennett? I'll just call him Tom. He is the man behind Unquiet Hands and lately it's been causing quite a stir because of a very beautiful spinner that was designed by him. Before I crack open this package, I want to give a huge shout out to Michael DeMesa because he sent me a surprise box and in it is one of these beast boxes things and well it's a bunch of stuff and i've really enjoyed every single thing he put in that package it was kind of like an exchange because you know i gave him an aluminium geometrics that he was collecting i mean he's a collector guys and we've been friends you know speaking for quite a bit on the internet and well like i said before the internet has made the world a much smaller place very much like how caesar reached out to me well michael and i have been talking quite a bit and well he sent me one of these these beast boxes along with some other goodies in that box and it was really just pure fun so there was candies there were other toys like gundam and there was even a cool eight mode spinner but i'm gonna put this guy right here as we crack open the box so once again michael thank you so much i really enjoy this guy a lot it looks so cool it looks it looks like this it looks like the tech 63 yes and michael well he poisoned me so i don't just have this i have this one as well and i've got another one that i'm not going to show you guys yet because i'll keep that for another video oh and can i just say that taiwan is so cool like look they've got black padded envelopes like so cool what oh, one last thing i feel like i have to mention guys look at the price of shipping guys it's 539 taiwanese dollars and if you do the currency conversion this equates to about 18 usd so for those of you who stay in the states and you want to import stuff from taiwan or from hong kong for example please please don't complain about the shipping prices man like i live in singapore every time i buy a spinner from the states i gotta pay at least 13 usd so if something is going to cost you like about 10 or 11 dollars just don't sweat it man look from taiwan to singapore which is much nearer anyway it still costs about 18 usd so it's really just i mean you guys those of you who actually feel a pinch then all i can say is welcome to my world every single spinner that i've purchased or even if the spinners are sent to me imagine how much it costs okay so just keep that in mind all right yep so here we go Oh man, my hair standing at this message. Look, Tom, look what you made me do. Oh man, this is sweet. Oh goodness. It says, hey Ben, hope you enjoy the atrium as much as we do. Looking forward to your review, Tom. And he basically just, he even drew in my, oh guys, my hair standing again. He even drew in my wristband. Look at that. It's cool. <laughs> so funny. Tom, you're awesome and I'm keeping this for sure. This is something really nice. Alright guys, so this is the tin case that the atrium arrives in. That is actually quite a mouthful to say. This is the tin case that the atrium will arrive in. Wow, that's kind of difficult. So yeah guys, this is an original design by Unquiet Hands and like I mentioned earlier on, it caused quite a stir because this is really a very nice design. And on the back of the case is a choking hazard warning. It's made in China. Yep, I mean, Taiwan's a part of China, right? I mean, I don't want to get into the whole debate. Before I lift off the lid, I want to give a shout out to Tom. It is an honor, Tom, that you reached out to me because I've been following you on Instagram and I know that Tom has been following me on Instagram as well. And I was watching some of his warp videos as well. And this was quite a while back, you know, but at the point of time, Unquiet Hands was only carrying other brand spinners, very generic China-made spinners, some Kepler spinners and stuff like that. But this this is a completely original design and Tom reached out to me and said hey Ben uh, I've, I've been a fan of your videos I've been following you on Instagram and I wondered if you've ever heard of our atrium spinner so I said hey you know I've heard of your company I've heard of Unquiet Hands I'm actually following you guys I've watched some of your videos as well but no I haven't seen the atrium and so he sent me a couple of pictures and I'm like dude this is this is fresh this is new and it looks good it look, look really really good in pictures at least it's got good nuances and stuff and i told him it's a very high chance that this is gonna be a winner and everyone's gonna like it so he posted it and it looks like the first round is sold out so i'm really really happy for tom and unquiet hands good job man good job i'm glad that this is selling well so here you go guys this is the first look at the atrium spinner lid off oh nice nice we've got some uqh stickers oh beautiful these stickers are gonna go on my pelican cases one for each because i got three pelican cases this is awesome then we have a coa very nicely made my hair standing again why it's just the excitement i think yeah but check it out guys it's got all the contact details it's got the ig account check it out unquiet hands facebook.com slash groups slash unquiet hands that's where they are on facebook stainless steel r188 date 20th of november batch one 
Thank you for your support, Tom. And it's got this hologram sticker as well. Very nicely done. Like this is one of the nicest CUAs around. I mean, yes, it's made of cardboard, but the detail is good. I like this. Good touch, Tom. Then we've got a cleaning cloth with the UQH logo kind of pressed in. So this is a deboss thing, I believe. Then we have a bearing removal tool. There is a spare button and oh, okay, I know. I'll talk about this in a while. Then there is a spare bearing as well. And we have the spinner. Oh, whoa, this is... This is pretty hefty. Okay guys, I'm looking at my laptop right here and this is weighing in at 89 grams. So that's, that's awesome. Taking this guy out. I'm gonna put it right here for everyone to look at while I inspect the case. And it looks like there's nothing else in the case. I'm gonna grab the bearing removal tool and take it out because we're gonna use it. And the reason why I said that is because this spinner has a bearing retention system that I like. So I'm going to undo the buttons and oh wow, the buttons are on tight. Okay, there we go. Check it out guys bearing retention method and I'm just checking to see if the bearing retention cap is tight yep it's pretty tight on so guys very simple and straightforward way of changing your bearings you guys are already familiar with this so I won't waste your time but check out the buttons guys we actually have two different button sets these are known as the cupola caps or cupola caps I'm gonna be pronouncing it as cupola because I think it sounds a little bit more prestigious you know cupola caps and this one over here on my left hand is the canopy caps or canopy caps I must say that they are very comfortable very well done among the sea of buttons that are available right now these buttons don't resemble any other buttons out there in the market so this is actually pretty cool like this is just one step it's not even really a step it's like an angle edge in and an angle edge up and then a concave in the middle so yes it is still concave right there pretty cool this one is a big lip on the outside with a slight raised edge right here and then a deep kind of a dip inwards then it kind of eases out into this gentle concave as well so it's really really good wow tom good job man so i'm gonna put on the canopy caps just the way they were out of the box and I'm gonna give the spinner frame a rub down just to let you guys know that this is super, super smooth. Okay, the whole thing is brushed. Clearly you guys can see it is brushed. Like out here, it is brushed. Out here on each edge, it is brushed. And it's got three trit slots on each side. So far, so good guys. I don't even believe there's gonna be any hot spots. Just look at that. Look at that, it's just, smooth all around and the edges here they are hard edges they are pronounced very well but they are not sharp because of the brushed finish it just kind of helps to round off the edges as well so here we go guys first spin oh that is smooth now i will say that there are two different r188 bearings in this package the one in the spinner right now i believe is the r188 stainless steel ultra smooth with nylon cage and the other one right here is the r188 stainless steel 10 ball Yep, that's right. This is the stainless steel with the stainless steel cage as well. 10 ball R188. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wow. Wow, this actually feels really smooth. Very nice gyroscopic effect. Not too big, not too small. I'm liking it. Wow, guys. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed. These notches here are very comfortable to help you generate a flick. And the edges are really easy for you to land your finger on i mean this is just my first impressions you know what i mean guys like really my first impressions well this is nice okay i'm gonna change the buttons up more specs of the spinner for you guys as you enjoy the cupola caps on the atrium basically the buttons are all 22 millimeters wide and on the website it states about four to five minute spin times out of the box on a two-handed table spin, I'm assuming, because it says table spin. The weight, like I mentioned earlier on, is 89 grams, and the total diameter, I'm assuming is the spin diameter, is 51.5 millimeters in diameters. Of course, these are available in different materials as well. There is brass, copper, stainless steel, which is this one, and titanium, and all of them go for different prices. The stainless steel one is going for $44, the copper one for $41, the brass for $40, and the titanium one at a very affordable $68. The brush finish gives it like a sort of a shimmering look when it's spinning. You guys can see that. Very unique reflections. Like it's not like a flat kind of reflection. You actually see some details going on in there. Looks like a whirlwind of sorts. Really nice, really, really nice. And also, can I just say that the promotional video for the Atrium Spinner is just awesome. Tom, good job on that as well, man. Like, way to go. I'm liking this so far, guys. I'm liking this very, very much. Man, after fidgeting with this for a little while, now I can't decide which button actually feels better. 
so I'm just gonna have to try them both for a longer period of time but right now I will say that they're both actually really comfortable this is the width of it and it looks really comfortable as well for the cupola caps canopy buttons look good as well I think if I were to describe it, then I would just say that they actually kind of feel the same. Just that for this one, the dish is a little bit more obvious because you actually feel the raised edges around the finger. It's just a slightly different tactile kind of feeling. Now, I want to try out the other bearing and see how different it is from this one. Because this one right now, guys, you can tell it's really silent. Look, or listen, I should say. You can barely hear anything. Like barely. Even the feedback wise, there's a slight feedback. But once you hold it still, you actually feel a very, very slight feedback, which is slightly different from your SBV2s. Right, so I'm gonna change it up right now and let's see how that differs from this bearing. Grab the bearing tool, remove that cap, pop this bearing right out. Nylon cage bearing, guys. Get the steel cage bearing, pop it in there. Grab the retention cap, screw it on, and tighten it down. Done deal. Pop the buttons back on. Ah, hear the sound guys, difference in bearing, that's the sound that's generated and resonated out because of the stainless steel cage, nice, but still, feedback is quite minimal, nice, definitely more feedback than on the nylon cage one, but the gyro effect is still wonderful, I like it, that sound though, it's quite satisfying. This is cool because it still feels really smooth. Both of them feel equally smooth. So I guess I have to do some timetable spins just so I can judge the performance of the bearings. Yeah. But it is really cool, the fact that you get these two bearings that sound different. They don't perform that different but they sound different. So this one is for those who actually like a little bit more sound and more resonance and feedback. And this is for those who want something more discreet. So far so good. I am thoroughly impressed. Like Tom, good job man. Good job. Unquiet hands. You guys are wow. Okay, you guys have a winning design in my opinion. This is a cool little tri-spinner. Very well done. Very well done. You've got all the good nuances of a spinner design. Weight, weight distribution, finishing, and you've also made it different from other spinners in the market. So this is cool, man. Even with the addition of the trit slots, this looks cool. Even if you don't put trits inside, this is already cool. And these trit slots, by the way, guys, is meant for 1.5 by 6 millimeter trits. I must say, job well done. Really, job well done. Now that it's spinning right there, let's just grab our stubby and put it right next to the atrium. And we can see a size comparison. I know, I'm just kidding guys. Look, size comparison for you guys. There we go. Oh look, it's about the same height as a stubby. In terms of the flat to the pointed end. That's quite cool. But you know, because it's a tri, it's going to be bigger than a stubby for sure. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool as well. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing that I did with the rondelle guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> not going to have too much fun. But yeah, this is the size comparison. Once again. I like it. Big, comfortable buttons. Nice brush finish on the body that makes everything feel really, really nice. Smooth. No sharp edges so far. Pretty solid. Good job, Tom. I, I, I think I've said that quite a number of times in this video. The only thing I can do is to put this on my EDC for the next week and I'll be swapping buttons out. Maybe I'll do three days, three days, just to be fair, you know. And only after that will I be able to get back to you guys and let you all know what I really think of the Atrium Spinner by Unquiet Hands. But so far, the first impression is really good. That's no gripes, honestly. Like, I'm just trying to find a bad point, you know. Not so much right now. I'll probably end up nitpicking, you know what I mean? Like in the follow-up video so just stay tuned for that that's about it everyone for this first look hope you liked it and as always everyone links in the video description down below if you're interested i hope that i provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the atrium spinner is a spinner for you once again shout out to tom for sending this over to me all the way from taiwan down here to singapore and it's a really good experience so far i like it nice brush finish who knows i might polish it up and then stone wash it who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I might purchase trits and trit this up because it looks good. Or I might just put brass in zits. I don't know yet, guys. I, I, I don't know. So many things, so many possibilities. But I will say that this is a nice spinner. First impressions are good. 
Can't wait to spend the week with this baby. Thank you everyone for sharing in this slice of my life and this unboxing with me. Hope that you enjoyed this first impressions and I will catch y'all in the next slice of my life. Gaga Boost. Very nice button. Gaga Boost. Gaga Boost.